Ontario is going to stop doing mandatory coroner investigations for construction site deaths. Which to me sounds a little concerning. The government is saying that they're doing this to alleviate pressure on overloaded coroners, and they are saying that instead they are going to conduct an annual review of all construction site deaths. And while I understand the need or the desire to relieve pressure from a certain part of our system, it seems to me that just doing a yearly review is not going to be as thorough as actively investigating each death. In Ontario, coroners are medical doctors with specialized death investigation training who have been appointed to investigate sudden deaths as mandated by the Coroners Act. A coroner is called to investigate deaths that appear to be from unnatural causes or deaths that occur suddenly or unexpectedly. Considering how important Doug Ford says construction workers are, this change seems a little weird to me. What's even more concerning is the fact that the government is changing the rules as to who can work on construction sites. My issue there specifically being with the fact that they're going to be allowing students to drop out of school to work in construction. I'm not saying that these two things are related. I am just pointing out that this is a concern to me. It was already a concern to me that the government was going to give students the option to drop out of school at 16 to pursue the trades, but it's a bigger concern to me now that there's not going to be any coroner's investigations if any of those children die. At least not ones that are automatically mandated by the law. But I might also be getting this entirely wrong, so if anybody has any opinions or thoughts or knows more, please leave some stuff in the comments down below. I'd like to have a conversation about this.